Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot, and for today's videos, we're gonna show you a problem on our Mercedes E200 W212 related to the ESP system. The customer complaint is he has two ESP warning lights on the times and a message on the instrument panel says collision assist is inoperative. So quickly, what is ESP? The electronic stability program warning lights indicates there is a problem with your electronic stability program system or that you are driving on a slippery surface. When you drive through slippery surfaces, the ESB light will turn on and flash on your dashboard when it's working. So with that being said, let's go ahead and diagnose this car together. I have connected the car to Sentry to run a quick scan and as you can see, we have lots of fault codes dedicated to the collision prevention assists, especially the CAN bus communications. Moreover, According to the warning lights on the dashboard, we also have some fault codes on the ESP system and they're related to the yaw ray sensor and a malfunction parking system control unit. So before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the block diagram where it demonstrates how the ESP works. So basically, it receives signal from yaw ray sensor B24-15 via KNH, then it conveys the message through CAN E1 to the front SAM N10-1 and from the front SAM, the message is transmitted to the instrument panel, the parking system control units as well as the electrical power steering. When the ESP is not sending the correct signal, as a result, the relevant component will be malfunctioned as well. And to sum up, we have a lot of problems, but it all begins from our yaw rate sensor and the ESP. To be more specific, I'm going to show you how the yaw rate sensor works. A yaw rate sensor or rotational speed sensor measures a vehicle angular velocity about its vertical axis in degrees or radian per second in order to determine the orientation of the vehicle as its hot corners or threatens to roll over. And by comparing the vehicle actual yaw rate to the target yaw rate, the onboard computer can identify to what degree the vehicle may be under or oversteering and what corrective actions is required. Corrective actions may include reducing engine power as well as applying the brake on one or more wheels to realign the vehicle. So first of all, let's check our yaw rate sensor. With this vehicle, it is located under the passenger front seat. In a wind diagram, it has four wires, a power, a ground, and two CAN bus signal wires. With that being said, let's go ahead and measure all of them. So this is our yaw rate sensor. You can see there are four wires like I just explained. So let's measure the power. We can either unplug it or use a needle to pin it out. As you can see, there are 12 volts. So, so power is present. Then go ahead to measure ground. And remember to turn off the ignition and wait for a little bit for the CAN bus network to uh, go sleep. So our crowd is present. And lastly, let's measure our can signal. Okay, so we got 2.44 and that's can low and 2.57 that's can high so now we can conclude that our ESP is still providing power and signal but there's no feedback at your, at your rate sensor and with that being said I'm gonna replace it with a brand new one and pay attention to the installation dimensions if you have it the wrong directions, its corresponding signal will be impossible. Mm -hmm. 
So after replacing it, we have to clear the full coat. As you can see, there is no full coat left on Sentry. But we cannot conclude if the sensor is working because this sensor only operates when the car is running. So before performing a quick test run, we need to do a calibration. Okay, so now our calibrations were completed successfully. This is crucial after replacing the yaw rate sensor. And this is our live data. Okay, so I'm doing a test run right now and you can see the ESP warning lights are no longer existed. At this point, I'm pretty sure that our problem has been solved. And to recap, today's problem is related to the yaw rate sensor. The malfunction sensor is not sending any signal to determine the orientations of the vehicle, resulted the lack of communication to its relevant components on our Mercedes E200 W212. And after replacing it, the four cords are all gone, and everything is back to normal. If you have any questions or having a hard time with your car, feel free to contact us and we will help you as soon as possible. We really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.